Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to import custom saves onto your PS Vita games using Save Manager. So for this video, um, basically, you will need to find a game that you want a save for. So I will be using Lego Batman 3 in this video. So if I just show you guys right now, it's come up saying new game. That is because I haven't played this before. You know, I haven't got any save game data or anything like that. So in this video, I will be changing that from 0 to 100% complete with somebody else's save file. So all you want to do is just make sure you closed out your game. Go ahead and open up Vita Shell. Once it loads, press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Alright guys, so once you're on your PC, the first thing you want to do is just find out um, your game's ID. So go onto your PS Vita. Um, go to view, go to hidden items, then go inside of the app folder and here you want to find your game. So I know this is my game and if you're not sure what game it is, you can go in the folder, double click on the icon and it will come up with the icon saying what game it is. So once you've found your game, you want to copy the ID. What I like to do is just rename the file and then just go to copy and then just unselect it. So once you've got your ID, you want to go to the two links in the description. The first link is just the Save Manager VPK, so just click on the VPK and then that will begin downloading. And then the second link is where you want to find your PS Vita saves. So all you want to do is paste in the game ID and then just click enter. Then you'll be able to find your game on here, just click browse and then just click download and that will download the file. So as you can see, this one here is 100% complete. Um, they're all going to be different pretty much, but most of them are 100% complete. So once you've got your file, go back to your downloads folder and you now just want to copy the savemanager.vpk to the root of your PS Vita. Then get your downloaded save file, just right click it and select the extract here. Then go inside of the folder and it will be, you will find a file like this called slot 1 or slot 0 or slot 2, um, it could be different. But all you want to do is make sure you rename it to slot 0, right click copy it, go onto your PS Vita, go inside of the data folder which is this one, go inside of save games, then go inside of your game, so here's my Lego Batman game, and all you want to do is right click and paste it in here. So if your game doesn't have a folder in save games, you can always create one, just right click new folder. Or if you run save manager before, it will probably automatically create one. So once you've got your um, custom save in the file as slot zero, you can now go back to your PS Vita and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so back on the PS Vita, you want to scroll down and go inside of the UXO file, then scroll all the way down, and you're looking for the savemanager.vpk, so just press X on it, and then press X to install the package, make sure you have unsafe homebrew enabled in settings, and then press X for continue. So it's going to install super fast, so now you can just completely close out of Vita Shell, and you want to go ahead and open up the Save Manager software. On this screen you want to select your game, I will be selecting Lego Batman, so I'm just going to press X, then press X to confirm. Now what it's going to do is just open the game real quick, close it, and then go back to the software. Just like that. As you can see, here is my slot 0. Now my slot 0 is currently um, the save data, um, pretty much that 0% save data. So what I'm going to do is press X on it. Now we've got a few options here, circle is close, square is drop which basically means delete so it just deletes all the data together. We've got triangle which is import which will import the um, save file that you copied to your SD card or memory card and then replace it. And then we've got export which will take the save data from the game and put it into a slot zero. So we're going to be using import so you want to press triangle. Now what it's going to do is import the custom save data from slot zero. So now we can press circle to close, circle to exit, and then circle to exit again. Now what we're going to do is start up the game and hopefully the custom save data um, will be working. So as you can see it now says continue instead of save game. So we're just going to continue and um, see where it's at. Obviously I've never played this game before. Um, 
So hopefully, you know, the thing is 100% complete, just like the custom save file said it would be. So here we are, this looks like the end of the game, I doubt you would start here. Um, I think all characters are unlocked. Yeah, there you go, I can select different characters. So yeah, that is how you import custom save data into your game. It's actually really cool. Uh, remember, if you want to keep your original save data as well, uh, you just export it to any slot you want to. Um, you can do slot 1 if you want, and then you can always, you know, um, change it back if you're bored of the custom save data. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.